He created every mountain. He created every demon. He created everything that's been created. He is Elohim. We need the revelation that Leonard had, that our God reigns. So what does it mean that he reigns? It means that he has royal authority. It means that he is sovereign. And the church today doesn't talk too much about the sovereignty of God. But during the past year, with all the trials that I've been through, I have learned to understand, at least a little wee bit, of the sovereignty of God. I've learned to understand that he really is in control. Amen. I was talking with one of my intercessor friends in Kentucky yesterday. Her name is Linda Willoughby. She'll be visiting probably pretty soon. And we were just talking about, you know, God has a plan. You know, God has the final say. You know, whatever is going on in your life. He is in control. Praise God. He's large and still in charge. It's like Catherine Coleman used to say, you know, as long as God is still on the throne and hears and answers prayer, there's always hope. There's always a chance. Amen. God is sovereign. And what we don't understand is sometimes God allows those mountains to be there so that we can see something about ourselves that we don't know about ourselves that's holding us back for the best we need for ourselves. Amen. Sometimes, see, God knows he could just move it out of the way. He could just say, and it would just go. It would just leave. See, here's the thing. He uses the mountain to show you what's in you. He uses the mountain to teach you his faithfulness. He uses the mountain to teach you your authority. He uses the mountain to put some fight in you. There's some people in here now, and you need to get back up and fight. You need to decide, uh-uh, I am not going to let the enemy have one more good day around me. I'm going to wipe that snicker and that demonic smile right off his face. I'm going to make him pay seven times over for everything he stole from me. My peace, my joy, my whatever, fill in the blank. Some of you need to fight, because when you put your foot down, God will put Put his foot down. Somebody shout amen. amen. Jesus. It's not about how many times you fall down. It's about how many times you get back up. He uses the mountain to get the excuses out of you.